Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today is one of those days where I'm just basically digging for curiosity. I wasn't actually going to make a video. I always bring my camera just in case but I didn't actually have any intentions of doing it. It was more just to, so I'm not annoyed and I know what's here. <laughs> Plays on my mind. But I thought I might as well do some filming now, especially when I've just found something I've never found before. So we've got this unusual shaped bottle here. It says something along the top like Carmets or Garnets with a little Buddha kind of person in the middle and then it says Green Goddess which is it's really nice. I've never I've never found one like that before. So today's gonna be gonna be a promising day by the looks of it. And I'm only a little bit into this. I'm, I'm digging quite a big hole today. I'm gonna get proper in there. I've had another let's put that there a minute. I've had another Freth Halls one. It's just just a water one or maybe a pop. It's an interesting little one. I don't think you're gonna be able to see what it says there. I think it says Armani, so it might be a little little perfume, little scent bottle. A few other little bits there, like a crank or something off something there. It's a brown bottle. This thing looks like a something of an amphitheatre. God knows what it is. I think it's made out of pot. Yeah, but anyway, let's carry on. Just a plain one. Look at this though. Pulled up just before I put I turn the camera on. It's not an old bottle, but it's still got its tablets inside. <laughs> God Christ knows what they are. I don't think I'll be messing with them either. Some other kind of plastic. It's always good to check your, your uh, spade holes when you're emptying it. I've missed a few things a few times. Especially marbles and little bits and bats like that. Looks like we're getting to the good stuff now. Seems like there's a seam down there. I just pulled a bottle out and there's a plate and a few bits of rust coming out. So I think I've hit something quite decent down there. This is one of the bottles that's just come out. I can't make out what it says. It looks like the emboss is on the inside. Allied dairies, but that's an unusual thing, a shell. I don't know why there's a full shell in here like that. I found a lot of little ones as well. If anybody does know about that, please tell me because it's, I just don't understand it really. But, a bit of narco pickles. I've had loads of jars, that's a big one there. I've got the little one here, a little man or woman on it. I'm not sure what that one is. And then I've just got this nice cup as well. A, B, C, one, two, three. <laughs> I think that it might be something to do with that rabbit there, what's it called? You know, the Beatrix Potter kind of stuff, it might not be, but Royal Winton, it's got a crack across the bottom there, right across the side, but it's a nice little picture, I suppose, for kids, in it? But, oh no, there's one more, one more to show you, it's quite a modern one, but it's an unusual design. A little piece of pottery, it's quite nice, that would have been nice full. But anyway, let's get to that seam down there and see if there's any treasures. I'm coming out with some nice ones now. I'll show you a few while I've had a, I'm have having a minute. That's quite an old one. It's still clear glass, no emboss on it, but it's still a nice one. This one as well, I've only just pulled this one out. It's still got a bit of label left. Quite an unusual, unusual pattern all the way around. That's quite a nice one. Little doll's arm. What's this? I can't remember now. Ah, what are little girls made of? <laughs> I think it's probably similar to something, you know, them kind of design for kids. Got this little thing here. 
pan yan. Don't know what that is yet. But like I always do, I'll check it when I get in. That's not a bad one as well, quite an old one. This is not coming out of any um, uh, emboss on them at the minute. But, if I show you the old now, we're getting on so easy. Six foot down there now. So I'm going to take it down just a little bit further and then I'm going to start caving the sides in and then I'll show you. I'll set the camera up so you can see that happening. Must be a good six foot deep there or so now. I'm going to carry on after I've just had a little minute to myself of drinking stuff, but I'll just show you this one, this little beauty. That's quite a nice old one. I wasn't expecting that, like the aqua glass. Let's see. Look all them bubbles in there. Little beauty. Still got his cork in as well. Shame it hasn't got any writing on, but even still, it's a nice bottle. Has it got something on the bottom? Oh, there is something on the bottom there. Jesus, I don't know how I'm going to work that out, but I will have a go of it. Ah, this is another thing I just thought I'd show you actually. It's that little light bulb. Let's see if I can just get a bit, of, a bit of the crap off it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. It's like a bulb kind of shape. Not a light bulb, you know, like a, like a plant bulb. It's really nice that. And then, I'm presuming that that's a glass and the stems just broke off. Well, yeah, that's got quite a nice design around it as well. Keep them safe there. Oh yeah, one last thing just before we go. A little break. Whatever that thing is there. I think it might have been a pencil sharpener, you know, if the pencil sharpener was there. It is pot. But, I don't think there's any markings on it. I'll have a look when I get in properly as always, but let's get back to it. So I'm pretty much at the bottom now. You're at head height with me with this camera, so it's about six foot now. And you can see down there, there's not much else coming out really. There's a few little bits and bats, but nothing of any real age, to be honest with you. There's a few broken bits of stoneware down there. It's the same as I found in this different place, Grinley Hotel, where Leeds. But what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to set the camera up somewhere. It's not a very wide hole, but now I'm going to start filling there. But now I'm going to start filling it in. I'm going to try and set you somewhere where you can see. I'm shaving some of these sides off. Get a good view of that. Oh, just spotted that on the side there. Looks like a little ink well. That. It's no real age, but <sighs> still a bit of label. One. What's that one? I haven't had that one before. Compo registered. It's not an old one. Well, it's got a bit of age. It's still got its cork in, but. It's not the ones we want really. Another jar. That's got a bit of writing on this one. Horlix. <laughs> Horlix jar. Can't stand that stuff. I suppose if you're American, you probably won't know what that is. It's like a hot drink, like a, maybe like what you'd have as a hot chocolate. Well, it tastes weird. I couldn't even give you an example of something similar. I don't know. Bit of a cup. Freeze. Plastic gun. Wonder what that was poking out. What does it say? Made in England automatic. <laughs> well, I suppose it's a find, isn't it? I'd love to find a really nice, nice old toy. What's this one? 
It's just another jar, a bit of label left. God knows what it is. Jesus, that's stuck in deep. It's coming. <laughs> what the hell is that? It looks like a bit of suspension or something. I it might be. Oh, he's a ton. See you later. Oh, well, there's nothing anyway. Slips then. Bloody roots in my way. Another jar. Another jar, yet again. A little medicine one or something. Trying to have a look at it in the sun. No, nothing Another one. Just going to have a few little bits under here. Just found out there it says speak on it. It's plastic, but I don't know what it is. I'm going to check. I'll check it when I get in. I'm quite quite deep into this overhang now. I'm not going to go for too much further. An old car, toy car. Pack of plasters. What's that? Oh, it's just a light bulb. I thought it was something interesting. Is that there, a big label on? <sighs> get, it, get it into the sun. Edmunds. I thought it said lemonade, I think it said Lancaster. It's a big one. Very big one. What else is creeping under there? Can we see? Can you see anything? Right, ladies and gents, I think that's it for the day. I'm going to start filling that in in a minute, but you can see all the ones over there and all the ones here. It's been a, I was expecting just a couple today. Like I said at the beginning, it was just curiosity. But Jesus, I've had a few. I've dug down pretty deep today. But some of the ones that I'm not keeping... Now, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but it's for educational purposes. So these ones here, they've got a gollywog on the front of them. So that says something about needles maybe it's got a vaseline jar inside it that says full fruit standard pretty sure that it's a grape jam this one here the man's missing off it but robertson's apricot jam and then we've got lemon curd so they obviously with that little picture on it have made quite a few they're the ones i'm keeping i'll take them and wash them and do some research on them but that what the hell that is i do not know I'm debating whether to take that one, that's quite a nice. It's only bleep, so. Burton Taylor's taste. What else have we got? Burnschleck. Where? Willow. I found some other stuff like that. There's a couple of other ones, tablespoons. A couple of beers, I think, by the looks of them. It's a strange shaped one. Got a bit of iridescence on it, I think. Uh, what else have we got to show you? There's a couple over there, that's quite a nice green colour but it's only the inside. Those, like those blue ones as well, it's only the inside. It's whatever's inside it that's making it that colour. Got a couple of bits of pottery here. Another Milk of Magnesia. Another Horlicks, big Horlicks. 
Uh, what else have we got to show you before we go? That would have been quite an interesting thing, whatever it was off. Shame we didn't find any more of it, that was it. But yeah, that's it for today then. I'll take these these home now, give them a clean, see what research I can do on them. There's no names on them, so it's going to be pretty difficult, but as always, I'll have a look. There's nothing worth taking over there either, really. They're all like, from, from my estimates, maybe 30s, 40s, 50s, around that time. Apart from that one there, that seems like it's a bit older than that. But research shall tell me. A little hair tonic. Whatever that is, probably sauce. Right, that's it. So here we are with the bottles that are kept from that day of digging. So we'll start first on the, it's actually Garnet's, Garnet's Green Goddess. And that was a mix between lemon liqueur, whiskey, lemon and lime soda and um, something else. I can't remember what it was now, but yeah, it's actually a liquor, a liquor bottle. Got the little cup there. That little plastic thing is just too far gone. I don't quite have a clue what it could have been. But there we've got the nice little mug. Royal Winton, I believe that's for maybe 20 or 30s, that kind of time period. Just a few the little bits and bats there. It says foreign. <laughs> that there was some kind of little animal, but it's just too far gone to sort of crumbling away there, the plaster. There's that other little piece of the cup, sugar and spice, what the little girl's made of. Found some little kind of plastic doll as well. Heads on backwards. <laughs> There's that pot, that pot thing there. A little light bulb. See now it's a now it's a bit cleaner. Just kept that jar just because it has, it has got some nice. It's like a it's like pressed out there, kind of rigid. It's quite a nice jar. We've got the Compa registered. It's a cough syrup. It's quite a nice old one. And then we'll go on to. I'm going to put the dis a link in the description for this one because. When I first read it there, Kia Aura, not to be refilled, I didn't actually remember what it was until I looked it up online and then I'm sure that people, if you look at the link at the end of this video, you'll you'll know what it is as well. It's like an orange drink from Australia. Kia Aura means uh, like good wishes, that kind of thing. This one, I can't figure anything out about that one. Must have had a label there and possibly one at the front as well, but I just can't figure out what it what it could have been. And then we'll get into these last two, these are quite a nice one, you can see. I don't know where it's going to pick up on the camera, but all the bubbles and the weird shape in the glass. I believe these are very late 1800s, but no, possibly 1900s, very early 1900s. So I've got this cork in there. And then this one, this is probably the best one that I found from that day. Look at some of the marks inside the glass there. Let's try and get a bit of, a bit of light through there. And it does. I'll just get the bottom. It does have something on the bottom there, but I tried tracing it, tried putting some ink on it and stamping it onto some paper, you know, just to try and get a bit of an idea of what it said, but just literally can't tell. From other examples, I think it possibly is a gin bottle by the, by the shape of it, but I just don't know. So all in all, though, it's not a bad little day of finds from that day, so quite happy with them. But as I say, look at the advert for that one at the end. You'll you'll know which one. It, you'll know what it is. <laughs> 